Hello everybody, this is Paul. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. This lesson is going to be on how to convert between mixed and improper fractions. So let's start with a mixed fraction. We're going to start with a mixed fraction 5 and 1 third. Now 5 and 1 third can be written as 5 plus 1 over 3, or simply 5 divided by 1 plus 1 third. We want to get the same common denominator 3 in this term. So we can just multiply this by the number 1 and it won't change anything. And 3 divided by 3 is really just the number 1. So we multiply that by the 5 over 1 and then we add our second term 1 third. So really this is the same thing. Here's our 5 over 1 term multiplied by a disguised 1 and our second term the 1 third. Now 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 times 3 is simply 3. And we add that to our second term, 1 third. Which, adding the numerator together, is 15 plus 1 over the common denominator 3. Now 15 plus 1 is 16, and 3 is just 3. So 16 over 3 is the improper fraction which represents the mixed fraction 5 in 1 third. It's really the same number written in two different forms. Okay, the second example, we're going to start with the mixed fraction 12 and 4 fifths. Rewriting this as an addition problem, 12 plus 4 fifths, and then just specifying that 12 is really the same thing as 12 divided by 1, and then we add the 4 fifths. This time the common denominator that we want is 5, so we multiply this by our disguised number 1, which is simply 5 over 5, so that we get that common denominator. And we add the second term, the 4 fifths, and then we do 12 times 5 is 60, 1 times 5 is 5, and we add that to our second term, 4 fifths. Adding the numerators together, we have 60 plus 4 over 5, which is simply 64 over 5, which is equal to the mixed fraction 12 and 4 fifths. This is the mixed fraction, this is the improper fraction, and they're really the same number, just written in two different forms. Okay, what if we start with an improper fraction? Let's say we start with 19 divided by 3. 19 over 3 is really just a division problem. 19 divided by 3. And that's really the same thing as we know from elementary school is 19 divided by 3 this way. So now we just treat it like a division problem. 3 doesn't go into 1, but 3 goes into 19 6 times. 3 times 6 is 18, we subtract the 18 from the 19, we get our remainder 1. Now 1 is the piece that we have extra, and it's 1 piece out of 3. So we write that as 1 third. 1 piece out of 3. Takes 3 to make up a whole unit, we only have 1. So 6 and 1 third is a mixed fraction which is equal to 19 over 3. And in the last example, we're going to do 2,957 over 3, which is simply just 2,957 divided by 3. And writing this in the elementary form, we can write it this way. Now 3 doesn't go into 2, but 3 goes into 29 9 times. 3 times 9 is 27. 29 minus 27 is 2. We bring our 5 down. And 3 goes into 25 8 times. 3 times 8 is 24. We take away 24 from 25. We're left with 1. Bring our 7 down. 3 goes into 17 5 times. 3 times 5 is 15. We subtract the 15. 17 minus 15 gives us a 2. 2 is our remainder. It tells us we have 2 parts out of 3, or 2 
thirds. So 985 and 2 thirds is equal to, well, let me, let me just rewrite this here. 985 and 2 thirds is equal to 2,957 over 3. So this is really the same number. This is written in mixed form, and this is written in improper form. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you've liked my videos. There will be more to come. Thank you all, and have a great day.